In this video, I'm going to show you the various options and advanced settings on this G51 display. This one's found on my Mega Wheels Fat Tire e-bike. You turn the screen on and off using the middle button or the M button like this. You're going to hold it for about two seconds. Here are the various features of the display. If you hit the plus button, you'll increase the pedal assist modes. You can see this is the max at five. The battery is fully charged. If I turn this on, you're going to see that it goes to the max speed. Now, this speed is restricted to 20 miles an hour or uh, 32 kilometers because it's a class two e-bike. I'm going to unlock it and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But let's first go through the different settings on the uh, display. You can see if I hit the M button, I can cycle through to the different options. So you have the odometer. That's how many miles or kilometers on the bike. This is the trip that I've taken. This is the voltage of the battery, which is a nice feature. This is the current that only displays, obviously, when the motor is um, operating. This is the time that has elapsed for your trip. And then back to the odometer. If you want to decrease the pedal assist modes, you can hit the minus button plus to increase it. And then to turn the bike off, just simply hold the M button and the display will turn off. To turn back on the display, hold the M button, make sure that the key is in the open position. And what I'm going to do now is go through the advanced settings menu. Now to access the advanced settings menu, what you'll want to do is hold the plus and minus button for about two seconds and it'll drop you into the advanced settings menu. This is P01 and then this is the optional setting below. To change that, just simply hit the minus button. It will cycle through the different options within that settings. Now P01 is the screen brightness. So I can cycle through, three is the brightest, one is the dimmest, two is medium. I'm gonna leave it as the default. Moving on to P02, this is your speed in miles per hour or kilometers or your units. To change that, if you go to zero, zero, that's kilometers and zero, one is miles per hour. Moving on to P04, that is the voltage level. This is a 48 volt bike, so I'm gonna leave that as the default. P04, this is the screen dormancy, how long before the screen will shut off when there's no uh, action on the bike. This is set to 10 minutes. I'm going to leave that as the default. Moving on to P05, this is the help bit file or the gear ratio. I'm going to leave that as the default. That's 5. P06, this is the outside diameter of the tire in inches. That's 22 inches. Leave that as the default. P07 is the speed gauge magnet number. I'm going to leave that as the default, 01. P08, this is the speed limit. Set to 100 is unlimited speed. I'm going to leave that as the default. P09, this is the zero start. I'm going to leave that as the default. That's zero. If you change it to one, you need to pedal up to six kilometers per hour before the motor will engage. So P10 is the drive mode. Zero two is throttle and pedal assist only. Zero one is throttle disabled. And zero zero is pedal only. So if you need to disable the throttle, that's the setting that you want to do. And then moving on to P011. P011 is the help sensitivity. I'm going to leave that as the default. P12 is the help start intensity. I'm going to leave that as the default. P13, this is the power magnets. I'm going to leave that as the default. P14, this is the amps, the max amps that the controller sends out. 12 amps is pretty low. I'm going to probably go back and change that so I get better torque and acceleration. P15 is the under voltage. This is the voltage which the battery will cut out at 41 volts. And then P16, this is to reset the odometer. And what you want to do is press and hold for five seconds. And then if you hit the M button, it goes back to P01. The one thing I definitely want to change is changing the amps because 12 amps is pretty lackadaisical. So what I want to do is change P14 to. In my case, I want to go the highest I can go, which is, I doubt it will go that high. I'm going to go, I think I'm comfortable setting this at 22 amps as the max. So I'm gonna to save those settings, you're going to hold the plus and minus button for two seconds. 
and that will bring you back to the main screen. To unlock this bike from a class two e-bike that's restricted to 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers to go to a class three, which is 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers, what I wanna do is a sequence like this. What I do is turn this throttle key off and I wanna hold the brake and I wanna turn on the key then turn on the display and I want to turn the throttle three times then shut the throttle off and turn it back on and now go to pedal assist mode five now that I have that on let's see how fast it goes I could definitely hear it going faster now it's unlimited. It gets up to 34 miles per hour. Now, I doubt it will do 34 miles per hour when I'm riding the bike, but at least it's unlocked. And now it can go up to class three speeds. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.